Hello and welcome to a, an important edition of A Minute with the Mayor and today I am uh, pleased to have a, a dear friend of mine uh, and our family's uh, Mrs Wendy Skidmore. Wendy, a warm welcome to you. Thank you. <laughs> Wendy, as or most the locals would be aware, uh, is our facility manager at the Tamora District Hospital. Uh, started as a, as a nurse and worked her way through the ranks and uh, uh, and we're just so pleased that you can be with us here today, Wendy. Obviously, with this uh, coronavirus issue, it is worrying a lot of people. Uh, certain demographics, I suppose, we can understand why, but then perhaps the way I see it, there seems to be a bit of a, an overreaction in, in some quarters. Can you give us, I suppose, a bit of a, an update I on guess, where you think we're um, It is unexplored territory. It mm. is a new um, virus that's coming through, which we now identify as COVID-19. Um, Murrumbidgee does not have any confirmed cases of coronavirus, and I think that's down to good management. We are um, totally prepared in the health service mm. to be able to manage that. We need to stop the panic and actually be um, put in common sense and which will um, include good hand hygiene, um, soap, washing your hands for a good 20 seconds, um, avoiding um, contact, um, hand shakes, kissing, yep. hugging. We are also advising that we um, stay a metre and a half away, um, avoiding mass gatherings and even small um, group sessions, particularly in confined spaces. So just to, because we can't always guarantee that 1.5 metre distance. It is common sense. It is if you're unwell um, to stay home. If you've got your children that are unwell, yes, it does impact on the workforce, but you also need to be there for caring for your children and, you know, avoiding that um, yeah, possible contamination to the community. So what is the latest uh, advice? So please? as of today, and as we all are aware, um, it's evolving daily, so um, we get, um, very regular updates um, and on how um, we're progressing and the management. Um, as of today, um, the advice for the community is if you are feeling unwell, um, there is the health direct number which you need to contact in the first instance and there's also a Murrumbidgee COVID-19 hotline which all is virtually a triage centre who will um, talk you through the process and if they identify that you need to be tested then they will um, organise and book appointments. There is been clinics for the COVID-19 testing um, has been set up in Walker and Griffith at this stage. If um, you are symptomatic and you've got a fever and you've got a runny nose, a cough, um, which you know can be contributed to maybe the common cold or a flu, but you still need to um, ring ahead and let the doctors of the um, hospital know that you're presenting just so we can have those added, added yep. portions in just in case. I, I simply would just say thank you to our health uh, professionals, Wendy, you and your team, but also I'd say to our community to um, please continue to look after yourself, of course, that's a number one, but you also, I know, will look after each other. Um, I think that uh, sometimes we can <laughs> uh, perhaps uh, inadvertently overreact. I think we need to continue to show uh, respect, grace and calm. The world continues to turn. Uh, our country needs to continue to operate, our state and, and our community. And uh, we need all of you to continue to do what you do as long as you're paying heed to our health professionals, to the Prime Minister and the government. Um, and again, that common sense. If you're not well, uh, please, please make sure that you uh, uh, get checked out and, and isolate if you need to. Uh, but the hand washing is, of course, oh, it, uh, it crucial. Is absolutely paramount. Crucial. But again, please take care of each other and uh, thank you so much, Wendy. You're welcome. We're very proud of what you've achieved and uh, it's so, uh, so pleasing to have you here with us thank to you. share some of your thoughts. So thank thanks you. very much for spending a minute with the mayor. I'd kiss you, but I can't. <laughs>